Hello and welcome to the Univertech. Today I am going to discuss how to use mask modifier in Blender. It's very helpful tool in many complex situations during animation, sculpting, modeling, texturing and much more. But today we are going to discuss its basic. So let's begin with deleting the light and camera. Select and press delete key to delete the camera or any object selected and uh, now we can select the object in which we can apply the mask modifier. First of all I am going to convert into a ball with the subduin modifier and in subduin modifier I am keep its level on 6 and now apply it. Before applying the mask modifier on the selected cube we require to add some groups that affected with mask modifier to add vertex group switch to the edit mode and uh, select some vertices here that you want affected with mask modifier select some vertices here that you uh, affect the mesh for that we can select press C for selection here is here you can see I am selecting some vertices that's it and uh, after selecting vertices goes to the data property menu and in vertex group tab press the plus button and rename the group affected mesh so let's enter and hit the assign button and then return to the object mode select this object that you want to play mask modifier go to the wrench icon add modifier and select mask modifier and in mask modifier you can see here are two options that we want to select vertex group amateurs and vertex group you can use amateur tab during uh, during rigging or amateuring or when you add skeletons in character but in this tutorial we are discussing about vertex group and here you can see three options first is vertex group second smooth check button and threshold adjuster vertex group allow to select group that will affected in mesh so you can see that we selected in vertex group and uh, if you want to revert it just hit the double head arrow and you can see this is the selected vertices if you are check this smooth button you can see there is smoothness in vertices and if you increase the threshold open and close okay now we are add some more vertex group with the help of weight paint selected plus and this is add some paint where you want the mesh affected add some weight and uh, you can see this is not even smoother but this is a demo of mask modifier even weight w e i g h t weight hit enter okay this is the second group and go to the check menu modifier and add weight 
and now when I move slider and you can see it's changed its appearance and if you hit the smooth button you can see it close smoothly let's add some keyframes okay this is the on frame 1 first screen frame and on frame 20 second keyframe and we can and set end frame as 20 and hit play button you can see this is a very smooth animation and this is very helpful tool not only for mesh deformation this is it's used in many complex situations like 3D modeling, animation, selective deformation, texturing and material effects, procedural modeling, special effects and motion, dynamic simulation, fine tuning mesh detail and much more. If you want to elaborate any one of them then leave your comment in the comment box. If you like my video hit the like button and press subscribe button hit the bell icon for latest update on my channel that's all for today with mask modifier